All right, so now what I want to go over is um, read aloud tests. Um, so uh, tests or quizzes, either either one. Um, first things first, I want to go over real quick because most of your read alouds are because of a modified test. Um, and what and this is one of the things that got me into using Canvas was that it could be read out loud. And so the students didn't need to be sent sent out. Most of them um, could actually stay. The headphones were enough to consider that um, like a separate setting situation, um, which is really nice because then you don't have to um, plan for that. You can just, you know, have the computers and give the test and it's super easy. Um, and they, I mean, they have to have headphones, but you can always find some headphones around. Um, so this test right here, option one, and option one, I, I just, my option one kids are always uh, an unmodified test. Option two is modified, and um, I say option one, two, just to make it sound better, I guess. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on this test right here. Um, and I'm going to preview it. Um, and so when the kids take this, um, they would uh, have this up. Now, what they're going to do, um, because we have the uh, uh, extension of this little puzzle piece over here. So you do need to teach them about like what read and write for Google Chrome is um, and what it does. And really you can go over it for the whole class because uh, it's been beneficial in some of these words that are difficult for them to say. Um, they can have it read to them and it kind of helps. So we're going to click on that puzzle piece and it brings up this box um, of things. And the premium features are these highlighters and stuff. So this is kind of that they don't make this by default, but we're gonna go with it. It's, you know. So what they'll do is they'll have this box open and then they're gonna highlight what they want read to them. And so they just highlight it and then they hit play. Which estate liked the enlightenment? And so Third estate. No estates. First estate. Second estate. No new data to save. Last checked at eight. Uh, I guess it's reading everything. Um, I thought I just read what the highlight part is, but okay. <laughs> um, ooh, actually, hang on. Which estate liked the enlightenment? Third estate. No estate. Okay, I don't know. Um, anyways, what is this? <laughs> so there's different options here um, that they can do as they go through. Um, so it'll read to them. And I mean, they do have to, you know, click on that. But like. The bourgeoisie is which group? Middle class. Clergy. Peasants. Rich nobles. Quit. So like. And that's like a word, like bourgeoisie. These they can't say this word for the life of them. Um, so having it read that to them is super beneficial. Um, so that's really the read aloud portion. Um, so you just have to make sure this works. Um, if it doesn't, then you get to you know your computer person and have them. Um... Yeah, clicking on stuff. Uh, <laughs> And have them help you with it. You can add it. Um, and at the very beginning, you have to allow it. They'll click on it and the box will come up and it'll be allow whatever. And you'll just be like, yep, sure, allow. Okay, done. And it's over with and it's not a problem after that. Um, so that's pretty much it for the read aloud.